I'm Brian Lilly. Can you run your own life? That is the topic of tonight's byline. The battle lines are being drawn for the 2015 federal election. In many ways, it will come down to this basic choice. Can you run your own life? Are you better able to decide how to spend your money, save your money, raise your own children? Or are these the decisions best left to government? One side, well, on one side, you've got the conservatives mostly arguing for greater freedom for you. On the other side, you've got the liberals and the NDP arguing that you cannot succeed unless they are able to run large parts of your life for you. The NDP unveiled their big policy this week, National Daycare. Today, I'm proud to announce the NDP's plan for affordable, quality daycare available across Canada. The Dippers are essentially saying that the government needs to be in charge of raising your kids. They call it early learning. I call it early indoctrination. It's an incredibly expensive program that doesn't deliver on what it promises. Studies out of Quebec show that after more than a decade of the government-run system, they're having more problems with things like childhood obesity. Check out this headline. It's from the National Daycare Supporting Toronto Star. Children in daycare at risk of being obese, overweight study. Kids in daycare are 65 percent more likely to be overweight between the ages of four and ten than kids who stayed at home with a parent between the ages of one and a half and four. But we're told it's best that all the kids be in daycare. The implication being you can't raise your kids. You need the government for that. The Liberals haven't promised to replicate the NDP plan, but they do support government-run daycare over making it easier for families to choose what's best for them. And why wouldn't they? Like the NDP, they're progressives, and progressives don't believe that you can look after yourself, make your own decisions, or run your own life. It's why the NDP and the Liberals also want to double the Canada Pension Plan. We already have the Canada Pension Plan, we have old age security, we have RRSPs, we have tax-free savings account. But that's not enough. Apparently the government should guarantee that we all have Freedom 55, that we're able to retire early with a padded pension like a civil servant. Let me ask you, is it your job to make sure that I retire with enough money to keep myself in the manner to which I've become accustomed? I'd argue no. But the progressives argue that Canadians cannot save for themselves, so the government must do the savings for them. What they fail to account for is that taxes are the greatest single drag on family income. The Fraser Institute has been showing for years now that the average Canadian family sees more of their income taken up by taxes than by the cost of necessities, such as housing, clothing, in food. From the report, in 2013, the study finds the average Canadian family earned $77,381 and paid $32,369 in total taxes, or 41.8% of their income, compared to 36.1% for food, shelter, and clothing combined. By comparison, in 1961, the average family earned approximately $5,000 and spent much more on food uh, of its income on food, shelter, and clothing, 56.5% while $1,675 went to taxes, or 33.5%. Let's face it, folks, we're taxed to death, and more of us, well, have trouble saving after paying income tax, sales tax, property tax, all the other taxes and fees that governments make us pay. And what is the progressive response to that? Take more of your income so that they can save it for you. What they don't tell you when they promise to double the Canada pension plan payments is that premiums will need to double as well. So the average Canadian, who makes about $47,000 a year, will lose about $1,200 a year in take-home pay. You couldn't possibly save $100 a month, but they will take it from you and save it for you. Now, on the other side of the equation is the Conservative Party. Perfect. Well, definitely not perfect. But after finally balancing the budget, the Conservatives are looking at a budget surplus and finding ways to lower the tax burden on Canadians. And the Conservatives will claim they already saved the average family more than $3,000 per year since they came to office in federal taxes. They've cut the GST, they've cut income taxes, they've given other tax breaks as well. Now they're looking at more tax breaks. On the table, across the board tax cuts, a doubling of the amount you can save in the tax-free savings account to $10,000. They're talking about income splitting. And what all of these proposals do is say to Canadians, here, keep more of your money. We trust you to run your life. We trust you to look after your kids. We trust you to save for your retirement. Isn't that what we should all want? My needs and wants are not the same as yours. They aren't the same as my neighbors. Yes, we have a social safety net to look after those that cannot look after themselves. But most of us are capable of running our own lives, of looking after ourselves. 
The parties will try and make the election a year from now about pot or a war on women. They'll make it about angry Tom, mean Steve, or junior Justin. Really, it comes down to what I said at the beginning. Can you run your own life? If you answer yes, then it becomes clear how you should vote. And that's the byline.